with that, we welcome you to Millette Hall on a Sunday afternoon on the campus of Miami University for some NCAA college basketball here in Oxford, Ohio. The Miami Red Hawks for the Mid-American Conference hosting the Mississippi Valley State University Delta Devils out of the SWAC Conference this afternoon here at Millette Hall. Patrick Eschen riding solo with you here today. It's a Miami team that's coming off a pretty disappointing couple of losses. First, a 101-87 loss at Evansville on Saturday. They also lost on this court last Tuesday at home, a 76-54 bout with the Northern Kentucky University Norse. For Mississippi Valley State, a team coming in 1-8 overall. It hasn't been the best of years for them either. They start seven freshmen in the lineup compared to six other players two sophomores two juniors two seniors and a graduate student so the majority of this team is freshmen they're coming off an 86 62 loss against missouri state on friday december 6. it's been a while since they played last year a team that just went 6 to 26 4 and 14 in the conference we will get our national anthem and starting lineups here from millette hall right now and our tip is moments away it's miami basketball on red hawk radio beginning with the visiting Delta Devils from Mississippi Valley State. Wearing number zero, Jordan Lyons. Number one, Michael Green. Wearing number three, Caleb Hunter. Number 13, Tasi Colonto. And wearing number 33, Brandon Kimball. The assistants are Al Perry, Will Vance, and Marco Mortos, and the head coach of Mississippi Valley State, Lindsey Hunter. Savannah, 
Director of Basketball Operations, Kyle Hollinger. Assistant to the head coach, Damon Frierson. The assistant coaches for Miami are Ken Flo, J.R. Reynolds, and Jeff Rutter. The head coach for the Red Hawks in his third season, Jack Owens! And joining us to deliver the game. All right, and with that, we are set ready for basketball here this afternoon at Millet Hall. Patrick Eschen with you here, and glad you are joining me here at Millet Hall this afternoon. So if you didn't get it, the Mississippi Valley State starters are number zero, Jordan Lyons, number one, Michael Green, number three, Caleb Hunter, number 13, Kasi Kawuto, and number 33, Brandon Kimball for the Delta Devils. Miami Red Hawks will start number one, Nike Sabani, number two, Mackie Larry, number 11, Maja White, number 13, Delonte Brown, and number 14, Bam Bowman as Miami will try to snap a four game losing streak this afternoon in front of their home crowd at Ballette Hall as this will be the first of two games this week for Miami. The next matchup will be Wednesday at Louisville and they will go up against the number one ranked team in the nation at the moment then. But now a Sunday afternoon matchup here with Mississippi Valley State out of the SWAC. A okay crowd of Ballet Hall this afternoon, say about a thousand people inside here. Both sides of the court are pretty much full, nobody on the ends. They're on the sections on the outside parts of the court. While the fans are standing up right now at Ballet Hall before the Red Hawks score their first basket of the game. This might be moving right to left across your radio here in half number one. Mississippi Valley State in green uniforms with white numbers. Red trim will move left to right. Miami in their home whites with red letters, red numbers, red trim as well. So we are waiting the signal from TV to begin the game and they have given it to us. And so our referees today will step in and begin this one. Monte Brown will take the tip for Miami at half court. He is with Michael Green, or excuse me, Jordan Lyons, number zero for the Delta Devils. Brown with a one inch advantage will win this one back to Mackie Larry and the Red Hawks will get the first offensive possession of the game. Larry at the point, plays it to the right wing. Maja White returns to Larry, back to the left wing now. Brown, the pass inside at the left elbow. Bam Bowman, this it back for Sabania. Left wing three, it was too far left and out of bounds along the near baseline back to Mississippi Valley State. As we are 19 seconds into half number one here at Millette Hall this afternoon. Michael Green, the point guard for the Delta Devils will take it across the timeline, dish to the right wing to Brandon Kimball, their starter. 6'7", 180 out of Indianola, Mississippi. Kimball matched up with Sabani on the right wing. They get it back to the point and the top of the key, Caleb Hunter. We'll take it back left wing and then dribble it between the legs working on Larry finally gets a break charge on the left wing handed it back and wide open there in front of the hoop Jordan Lyons for Mississippi Valley State will put it off the glass for two and Nike Sabandi now is on the court face down on his stomach out of bounds in the far baseline for Miami the defensive end of the floor the training staff on him he's right next to the Miami bench Sabandi now on his back as the play has stopped here. Millette Hall has gotten pretty quiet. Spandy <laughs> able to get up with the help of the training staff here at Blood. And the crowd will applaud that. However, that will be a huge loss for the Red Hawks. Nike Sabani, who after last week's game at Evansville has 1,180 career points. That's 27th in all time scoring in Miami men's basketball history. He takes his seat on the far right side of the bench and they will take a look at what is wrong with him. It looks like it's an ankle problem. Keep an eye on that. Here's Mike with an offensive drive. They get it inside for Jovic. Right-handed layup is good from the right edge of the paint. And a minute in, Red Hawks and Mississippi Valley State are tied at two. They get it up top of the key, Brandon Kimball. Feet to the right wing, Jordan Lyons. Faked it to the right, back to the left. Feet to the far side, Kimball. Gave it off left wing. Here's Tariko Simmons, his first touch of the game for Mississippi Valley State. Long three miss. Monte Brown leaping for the rebound, plays it back to Becky Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Larry charged down the right wing, reached the right elbow and got tripped up and a foul coming there to the Delta Devils as initial contact was made with Caleb Hunter. And he was the one who initially tripped up the ball carrying Becky Larry and now Larry's shaking up. 
Dene Grant's gonna come in for Miami. Larry's gonna have to come out as he's hobbling on his right leg, walking back to the bench. And so we're not even 90 seconds into this game and the Red Hawks have had two men go out because of an injury. Sabani and Mecky Larry, number one and number two. Dene Grant left side for Miami. The charge down the left wing, got it off the glass, bounced too hard, no good. It's out of bounds on the Delta Devils who golfed it out the near baseline. A 2-2 tie here with 18-23 to go in the first. Inbound coming for Miami. It's going to be Mija White to play it in. A nice pass to Dede Grant on the left wing inside the arc. It was stripped away from him. But able to regain control there on the left side. Caleb Hunter who trailed it out of bounds. The Rocks will do it all again. They have 18 to shoot with 18-20 to go in half number one. Mijah White to the left wing, outside the arc, Dede Grant stepped in, back for Bowman, left wing, looking for a three, top of the key, Jovic, charged to the free throw line, back out for Grant, left wing, three from the corner, Delonte Brown, yes sir. That's your first three-point bucket of the game, Red Hawks have a 5-2 lead, two minutes into this one. Caleb Hunter over the timeline, left wing for the Delta Devils, Brandon Campbell. Top of the key, back for left wing charge. Hunter came in, flailed up a shot. He was double teamed with Dene Grant and Bowman, still able to sink it though. Just kind of flailed that one up, lucky it went in. And a 5 4 Miami lead here early on. Dene Grant to the right wing. Here is Bam Bowman, a step in the arc and a back out. Top of the key, Grant. Right wing for Milos Jovic, behind the arc. Now a three from Bowman, a long range one too hard. Rebound to the Delta Devils there across the timeline, left wing. Caleb Hunter on it here for Mississippi Valley State. Back outside the arc to the corner, walks it up the near baseline, feed back up high, top of the key, Michael Green left up to catch it. Down the right wing, off the glass, trying to shoot that one, but it was short, rebound picked up under the hoop by Kimball, and he's fouled on the put back attempt. as Lante Brown was down there preventing that. And Mississippi Valley State will head to the free throw line for the first time today. And Delonte Brown will get his first personal. So Brandon Kimball at the line for Mississippi Valley State. He's only a 40% free throw shooter on the year. Transferred from Mississippi Delta Community College after his freshman year, misses the first free throw. He's a 6'7", 180 junior forward. And the second one is up and good. We're tied at five with 17-12 to go in half number one. Rocks with the charge over the timeline right wing. It's Dede Grant. Hits the brakes, top of the key. Two dribbles with the left hand. Dish back for Bowman here inside the arc. Cuts across the free throw line left side. Now back for Jovic, right side charge. It's off the glass and in for him. Milos Jovic will pick up points number three and four on the day to make it a 7-5 Red Hawk lead. Delta doubles, left side, outside the yard, Caleb Hunter. The pass to the far side, Michael Green, long range three, downtown, he got it. Michael Green gives the Delta Devils their first lead of the day at eight to seven. Danny Green over the timeline right way, hands back for Mijah White, outside the arc, dish to the near wing for Bam Bowman with Danny Grant, landed it off to him to his left. Grant now hits the charity stripe, pass far side, long three, Mijah White had a wide open look and he sunk it. And Mijo White will give Miami the lead back at 10 to 8 with 16-15 to go in the first half. Now a pull-up three for Mississippi Valley State. Caleb Hunter missed it. Rebound came back to him at the top of the key. Another try for Hunter. That went too low. High rebound jumping in. Mijo White to pick it up. And a pass to the near side here. Dana Grant had to track back to get it. He will pick it up and go over the timeline left wing for the Red Hawks. Pass to the far wing. Jovic, top of the key. Bowman, long range three. He had the height, but it is short. Rebound picked up off the near side of the rim by Brandon Kimball. Pass to the far wing, making the charge down left wing green. Hit the brakes, free throw line, pulled up for the jumper, took a step in, off the glass, but no good on the shot from Green. Rebound by White to the right wing over the line, Jovic. Hits the brakes outside the arc, back to the free throw line, dishes out right wing. Wide open three, Dane Dane Grant too hard. Rebound picked up Jordan Lyons, dish to the right wing for Michael Green. Over the timeline in transition, hits the brakes at the arc. And we'll step back and just wait for things to formulate here. Now Michael Green planning a charge up the right side. We'll do it. Lost control of the ball. He got tipped out of bounds in the near corner by Miami as Lante Brown knocked him over. And we'll get our first media timeout here of the game. Miami 10, Mississippi Valley State 8. 15-17 to go here in the first half. It is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Back here after the timeout at Millette Hall, Patrick Kishian with you here on Red Hawk Radio this afternoon. 15-17 left in half number one, Miami 10. Mississippi Valley State 8. And it's gonna be an inbound here for the Delta Devils near side of the offensive end of the floor. Playing it in is Caleb Hunter. Little give and go with Lions back for Hunter, takes it to the point. And walks back to Miami M at half court. He's being guarded by Dana Grant, number three on number three. Left wing outside the arc, Hunter kept the ball. Now will pull up for a jumper from 10 feet short from the left wing. But an offensive rebound here for MVSU. They get it back to the left side. Down the wing is Michael Green. Hits the left corner, the far corner. Back to the paint, trying to charge it. Cut through the court, and he will pull up just short of the free throw line to make a jumper. It's Miami defense there did a poor job of guarding that attempt. Far side, Isaiah Coleman lands for Miami. Back to the near wing for Dede Grant. We'll play this one inside for Elijah McNamara. Left elbow for the Red Hawks, one against two. Dish outside, Grant to the right wing. Maja White long three, hit the far side of the rim, went up in the air, tipped out of bounds. And it was off MVSU, and Miami will get it back. In the offensive end of the floor with 20 to shoot, 14-24 to go in the first half. Inbound here near baseline on its way from Isaiah Coleman Lance. It's Dana Grant near side of the floor. Back to the top of the key, Elijah McNamara. Hands off for Grant, takes it right wing. Pass to Coleman Lance, faked it at the top of the arc, back to the free throw line. Dishes back, Dana Grant, the long three is good. 13 to 10, the Red Hawks are on top now. As MVSU with the Ball left wing outside the arc. A dish down to the corner. That was Michael Green looking for Kasi Kouto, but it missed him completely. An unforced error there for MVSU. Rex will get it back. It's Lonte Brown with one bounce off the court to Dana Grant over the timeline, middle of the floor. Pass to the right wing for Elijah McNamara. Barely inside the arc. Back to the point for Dana Grant. Right wing feed Coleman Lance. Cross court Grant. Long floater for three. That's right. Rebound picked up by MVSU, Kasi Kuto. Back to the left wing, Michael Green over the timeline. This to the near side, Caleb Hunter. Back down to the near corner, it's Brandon Kimball. Worked it up the right wing here for Caleb Hunter. On the brakes, as Kimball sets the screen. Hunter charges down, left side of the paint, floats it up too short. They get it back for a wide open three, it's Jordan Lyons. Long range one, miss from the left side. Red Hawks around the rebound and they're up the left wing. Fast break here, Coleman Lance, bounce pass, once inside four. Delonte Brown who worked it to the right arm and put it up off the right side of the hoop, off the glass and in for two. As Brown got that feed left side of the paint, got to the right side under the hoop. And MVSU is gonna take timeout number one of this game as they trail 15 to 10 on Miami now with 13.04 to go. Here at half number one, it's a 5-0 run for the Red Hawks in the last minute in 44. We'll have a media timeout along with that as well. 13.04 to go at half number one. It's 5 Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Pass on its way from MVSU. It was number one, Michael Green, to get it to the left wing for Caleb Hunter, and a pass to the right side, now Jordan Lyons. Back top of the key, Michael Green. Pass to the left side, Caleb Hunter. Walks it back to the point, and then a feed to the near side, Lyons. Back to the right wing, Michael Green for MVSU. Then got it back to the far side, Caleb Hunter. Delta Devils working left to right across the radio in this half. Hunter cuts across the paint, back outside the arc right side. Fires up a two-pointer with a shot clock expiring. It was picked up in midair by Delonte Brown. Feet up the right wing, Coleman Lance cuts across the paint, left wing, dish to the far corner, Jovic, the three, got it! 9-0 run for Miami in the last two minutes. They lead it 18 to 10 with 12.23 to go in the first. Down the right wing, Michael Green, pull up three here. Missed it short, rebound, Delonte Brown under the hoop, fast break the other way. Feeds it left wing over the line, Isaiah Coleman Lance reaches the paint, dishes out wide open, a three by Dana Grant, too hard. Brown able to pick up the offensive rebound though on the right wing, gets it back for Grant and then top of the key, Coleman Lance. 
Far side, Brown, another three attempt here is good for Delonte Brown. Delonte Brown, two for two from outside the arc, three for three from the field today, giving Miami the 11 point advantage here. 147 to go in the first half. Charge down the right wing, Michael Green to the corner. Moving in is Jordan Lyons. Back to the outside for Caleb Hunter. Steps back here for FBSU. Hunter down the left wing, inside the arc. Now a floater back to the top of the key. Lyons charge on the right wing. Pass to the paint of getting it up and in there. Brandon Kimball. He was on the back logo just shy of the free throw line to grab it for two. And that ends the MBSU scoring drought. As they were scoreless for about three minutes there. 11-20 to go in the first, 21-12, Reddick's on top. Brown left wing outside the arc, holding the ball. Free throw line pass to Precious Aya. Back to left wing, Dede Grant. Aya outside the arc, eight to shoot for Miami. Coleman lands right wing. He's being pressured hard by Green. Now a three-point shot, Precious Aya left wing. May got tipped on its way in. MBSU the rebound, quick stretch pass up the right side. Coming down there for a shot off the glass, no good was Gabriel Samaha, but it's finished off by MBSU. That was Lions. Rocks working up the left wing again. Coleman Lance, top of the key for Day Day Grant. Back to the right side, here's Delonte Brown. He top the key, Precious Sia. Back for Grant on the near wing. Charges down the near baseline, off the glass, and it is good for Day Day Grant. 23-14, Rock on top. Caleb Hunter hits the brakes, right side of the paint, floated it off the glass, no good, but a foul as he made the charge in. And with 10.27 to go here in the first, we will get immediate timeout in all of this. As Danny Grant was whistled for his first personal. Media timeout, free throws coming on their way for MBSU when we return. It is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Eschew back with you here at Millette Hall as Miami taking on Mississippi Valley State in the men's hardwood tonight. 23-14, the Redhawks lead at 10.27 to go in the first half. Miami trying to stop a four-game losing streak, but Mississippi Valley State is yet to win a game on the road this year. They're 0-8. And the free throw here, the first one from Caleb Hunter is good. Number three in green this afternoon, a 65.2% free throw shooter. He transferred from the University of Detroit Jesuit. Started every game this year, including this one for MBSU and misses the second free throw. 23-15, Miami on top by eight. As the Red Hawks here will work it to the left wing. Milos Jovic finds Precious Sia to the right wing, Coleman Lands. He passed it down low for Jovic, who bobbled it. Kept it in bounds, though, at Coleman Lands to the far side, trying to charge in from outside the arc to make a play, but he was fouled. 
Caleb Hunter will pick up his second foul here for MBSU. So the Red Hawks here after MBSU commits their second team foul of the half. Will inbound, the inbound this one from the far side baseline. Coleman Lance will toss it in for the Red Hawks. He's being guarded by Quinton Alston down there. Pass to the right wing, easy hit for McEulary. Inside the arc jumper here from the right side, missed by Aya, but coming in for the rebound, Josh Brewer to finish it off. Rush to the game for the Red Hawks. He picks up his first pair of the game. Quinton Alston right wing for MBSU, back to the center. Tariko Simmons in the game now for the Delta Devils. Pass to the near wing for Michael Green, back to the left side, now down to the right wing, inside the arc, he got it in. A nice floater there by Michael Green from about eight feet out with the right hand to put it through. 25-17, Red Hawks on top, Jack Owens barking orders to the offense here. Fresh Isaiah back outside the arc, Jovic toss back for Aya, left wing in the paint. He was stripped by two MBSU players on him and went to the hands of Michael Green who leads the charge up the floor for the Delta Devils. Green pass inside, tipped around there by Kimball. He picked it up though and got a pass back from Quinton Alston. Alston picked it up and went to Kimball. He was at the left side under the hoop. And the Red Hawks committing a foul as Kimball trying to get a shot off. Milos Jovic will be, get his first personal of the game. As the first three throw good by Brandon Kimball. He is two for three in the free throw department today. Bam Bowman back in for Miami. Precious Saya is out. MBSU as a team shooting three for five from the charity strike today. And the second one missed by Kimball, although the offensive rebound picked up Quentin Alston. He got it in off the glass for two. Redox defense falling asleep there after that free throw. They get over the timeline, left wing. Pass to the near side for Milos Jovic. Back far side, it is Mackie Larry. Larry to the far wing. Coleman Lance, back for Larry, top of the key. Makes it charge down the right side, cuts into the middle, right elbow, pass to the far corner. Coleman Lance, tried a three, he was defended too hard. It was an air ball way short. Jordan Lyons picked it up out of midair for MBSU, back the other way. And he gave it off, going to the corner, standing at the near baseline on the wing. Was Tariko Simmons, but he was standing out of bounds when he got the pass, and so the referee there to blow it dead and give Miami the ball with 8.48 to go in the first half. As it'll be a pass here and over the timeline, middle of the floor, comes Mackie Larry for Miami. Cut to the right side here, Larry. Back to the middle for Bam Bowman. Feed to the near wing. Milos Jovic, long three, it was too hard. MBSU can't corral it under the hoop though. Bowman with the offensive rebound. Left side of the paint trying to work the body position. Got it up, but he was too far under the hoop. It went off the bottom of the rim. And out of bounds, tipped away by the Red Hawks. MBSU an inbound here, far side baseline of the defensive end. Michael Green for MBSU over the line right wing. He's being guarded by Jovic Green. Inside the arc. Fires that one up, and it was in and out, but coming in to finish it off was Quinton Alston, who made a leap there to put two hands on the ball and corral it through the hoop. And now a 25-22 Red Hawks lead. MBSU is on a 7-0 run in the last minute, 52. Pulling up, left wing, chopper from 15 is good by Mecky Larry. He did that all by himself. Nobody else touched the ball, that offensive possession for Miami. 27-22, MBSU on, or Miami on top, rather. MBSU with the ball, they're down the right wing. A charge there by Chirico Simmons, he was fouled. Mekki Larry will pick up another foul and we will have another media timeout. 7.43 to go here in half number one. Red Hawks, the five point advantage on the Mississippi Valley State University Delta Devils. Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Eschen back with you here in Millette Hall, Oxford, Ohio on a Sunday afternoon. With 7.43 to go in half number one, 27-22. The Miami Red Hawks on top. As Mississippi Valley State 9 for 21 from the field, 42.9%. Miami 11 for 25, 44%. Red Hawks 5 for 14 from three-point land, that's 35.7%. The Delta Devils 1 for 5 from outside the arc for 20%. And Tariko Simmons here will shoot two free throws over MVSU, who is three for six from the field today, from the free throw line today, rather. Tariko Simmons misses the first one. He's only a 45.5% free throw shooter. Free throws are just not the strong suit of this MVSU team. Simmons, the next one too hard. Offensive rebound, though, picked up by the Delta Devils. And a shot there came in from Jordan Lyons, batted away by Milos Jovic. And over the right wing comes Miami. As a far three there for Abijah White, missed too hard. And back up the floor comes MBSU, a middle of the lane. It's Michael Green, dish to the left side. And a nice play there, getting it up and through Jordan Lyons. We'll pick up points five and six for him today, and it's 27-24. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor, just to the left wing, Delonte Brown. Outside the arc, reaches the paint, floats it up and in. Easy one there for Delonte Brown, who gives Miami a 29-24 lead. As we reach the later stages of the first half. Standing on the Emmett Center, it's thrown in by Trico Simmons. Back to the right wing now, it's Michael Green for MBSU. With 15 to shoot for them, Richard Rivers. Trying to move the move in on Bam Bowman, two big guys going at it near corner. A three, or just a jump shot rather there for Rivers missed. As he got space on Bowman, Delonte Brown the rebound, they back to the left corner. Bajah White for Jovic. Jovic having trouble trying to get rid of the ball. He's pitched up there, flew it to the middle of the floor, but nobody home for the run. He's picked up by MBSU. And up the left wing lines, pass to the near corner, barely kept in by Simmons, but that pass was caught by Jovic. We get a whistle here, his body's tumbled under the hoop. The Miami hoop. MBSU whistled for a foul as Jovic was charging up the left wing. As it will be the 13th foul against MBSU. Although they don't say who it's on. Macularis out for Miami. Dede Grant's in. With 6.16 to go in the here in the first. Miami with the ball offensive end of the floor. Dede Grant left wing. Trying to move in the paint. Pull up jumper here. Missed it. Offensive rebound almost corralled by him, but MBSU gets it back. Rivers to the near wing, now a cross court pass to the far side. Pulling up for a long jumper from the arc. Missed there off the hands of Alston. Back for Jovic on the rebound left wing. Dish ahead for Dede Grant. Gets it to the paint and gave it up. Wide open under the hoop, it's Delonte Brown. Put it in for two more, 31-24. Redux on top, 545 to go, first half. Michael Green over the timeline, middle of the floor. Dish to the left wing here for MBSU. Picked up by Jordan Lyons. Back top of the key, a long three, Richard Rivers, good. Richard Rivers, junior, number five, is 6'11", 280 freshman. Out of North Hills, Pennsylvania, just launching a three-pointer there. He basically has to shoot it flat and it will go in. Doesn't need any height on the shot. Delonte Brown, air ball three, top the key for Miami, picked up by MBSU. 31-27, Red Hawks lead it. Top of the key, they get it to the far side. Other three attempt, Rivers Jr. missed. That was too hard for him. Rebound picked up by Jovic. Good contestant under the Miami basket. Over the timeline, left wing, Jovic. Drive to the lane, pass to the far corner, Bowman. Now up top for a day, day grant, the three, yes sir. 34-27, Miami on top, 4.50 left in the first half. As pulling up here for a three right wing, missed by Michael Green in transition. Rebound picked up by Miami, and over the timeline, middle of the floor, Day Day Grant. Grant trailing to the far side. Now stands at the Miami M at half court. Four and a half to go in the first half, as Day Day Grant back for Bam Bowman, top of the key three, launched it and good. Bam Bowman makes his first three point basket of the day. He's one for three now from outside the arc. 4.16 to go here in the first half. MVSU from the right wing, a little hook shot there. Michael Green got it from the side of the hoop. 37-29 now your score. On the timeline right wing, it's Day Day Grant. Grant 
Hits the brakes to the free throw line. Back out for Jovic, but a foul here with that as Jovic was looking to hit a three-pointer, and we will reach a timeout here with 3.58 to go in the first half. MBSU picking up their fourth foul as a team in this one. Miami 37, MBSU 29 as we reach the late stages of the first half. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three minutes, 45 seconds are left in half number one. Miami 37, MBSU 29 back here at Milan Hall in Oxford this afternoon. Patrick Eschen with you here. As we are awaiting the signal from TV to begin the game again. Referees are actually over at the scores table right now taking a look at something. They're talking. As we may not have video replay right now. Everybody's looking at the video replay monitors for a second. And now the teams have been instructed to go back to their benches. And now the Millette Hall staff is playing with some wires. Again, this is at the, the far side table where the video replay is and all the game operation stuff and the stats and everything. As the referee coming over now saying some cords were unplugged over there. Boy, well, there's like an LED display on that far side of the floor, that far table, and only one half of it right now is lit up with an advertisement. The right side of it is black. So maybe someone unplugged the power to that entire panel on the right side, and that would knock out all of the stats, some of the instant replay stuff probably, and the shot clock control as well as the clock in Millette Hall is moving right now, and so is the shot clock. So what probably happened was someone unplugged a wire, and then the, the clock control panel became unplugged and without power. So is the shot clock cable, probably. And then we won't be able to have stats either. As the uh, game clock here in Millette Hall is moving, the shot clock just hit zero. So obviously something was wrong, and they couldn't stop the clock. So I hope somebody wrote down what time we had left because the game clock's still ticking and now they have three-fourths of that far display panel lit up. There's just one section of it that remains black. As the crowd sits and waits here at Millette Hall. And now we got all that LED display on the far side there lit up. 
as Vlad Hallstaff works on it. The possession arrow controller too at the sports table far side was unplugged as well. Clock is stopped, so is the shot clock. So now they gotta figure out how much time was left. It says 140 on the game clock right now, 17 on the shot clock, but that's at least two minutes ahead. So they reset the shot clock to 20. Again, all this because of an electrical problem. Someone definitely unplugged a wire on that far scores table, and it made the Advertisement LED display black on that far table and then all the other electricity stuff on the other side with stats and the scores and all that went out as well. Game clock still says 140. They switch it now to three minutes and 58 seconds. There's still some discussion here between the game operations staff and the referees. Now the referees break away and we're set ready for basketball again. So when someone was walking there on that far side of the floor, they tripped over the electric wire and unplugged it. So that's what caused their stoppage here. Yeah, you can't really play a game without a shot clock or a clock for that matter. Rex with the inbound far side of the floor. Top of the key, Dene Grant for Miami. Pass to the left wing for Delonte Brown. Free throw line, Coleman lands. Back to the left side. Bowman trying to make the charge up. But he was fouled and able to get a clean shot off there. Coming in from the left corner. First foul against Jordan Lyons of the game. The team's fifth. Bam Bowman here is going to shoot two for Miami at the free throw line. Only a three for eight free throw shooter on the air and misses that one. Miami as a team this afternoon. That was their first free throw attempt. Leading at 37-29 over Mississippi Valley State with now 3.47 to go in the first half. Bowman makes the second one, so now a 38-29 Red Hawk lead. Late stages here, the first. Over the timeline, middle of the floor, Trico Simmons pass to the right wing. Gave it off for Zachary Barnes. Back up top, it's Simmons in the Miami M half court with 15 to shoot. Simmons dish left wing. Caught by Barnes, returns to the point. Simmons, now 10 to shoot. Just waiting, Dana Grant is defending him. MBSU moving around down low. Now a three to the right wing. That one missed by Zachary Barnes on the feed from the circle and back the other way because Miami. Over the line, left wing. Coleman Lance coughed up the ball, picked up by Maja White, feed down low. Brown wide open under the hoop. Right arm off the glass, took one, bounced it in. 40-29, Miami on top. With three minutes to go here in the first half. MBSU over the timeline, middle of the floor. Jericho Simmons reaches left side, back top of the key. Pass behind him, long three here from the left wing. It's good from Richard Rivers Jr. This guy is a beast. 6'11", 280. Bam Bowman is... 6'8", 273, and you think he's big, but this guy's got him by three inches at seven pounds. Richard Rivers Jr. Bowman out, far corner three, missed. Too short as Rivers Jr. and Bowman are matched up right now. This is fun to watch. 225 to go first half, Miami 40, MBSU 32. Pass the right corner, MBSU has the ball. Alston faked the three, back up top to get to the circle with Draco Simmons who walks toward the right side with 13 to shoot. Simmons back top to key, feeds it near side. Another three, Rivers missed too far right. And under the hoop, it was tipped out of bounds by MBSU trying to get the rebound. Quentin Alston played it out the baseline. And Lante Brown, a one bounce pass on the inbound here to Dayday Grant. Grant over the timeline, middle of the floor for Miami. Trails to the far sideline, two minutes to go in the first half. Products lead up by eight. Grant far away. Little flip pass back for Coleman Lance. Inside the arc, pull up jumper from 20 feet is a foul. It's, it was short there from Coleman Lance, a little air ball, but he was pushed back after getting it off. And there's gonna be free throws coming here for Isaiah Coleman Lance. He's a 91.7% free throw shooter on the year. The 6-0-168 redshirt sophomore guard out of Indianapolis. He has appeared in every game this year for Miami and the first free throw in and out. Elijah McNamara will come into the game for Miami. Bam Bowman is out, McNamara's made 
an appearance already today for two minutes. As Coleman comes out here with 148 to go in the first half. And a second free throw coming on its way for Isaiah Coleman Lance. Makes the second. 41-32, Redux on top. MBSU over the timeline left wing. Trico Simmons cuts toward the middle of the floor. Pass to the right wing on one bounce. Caught outside the arc, Jordan Lyons. Back to the point, Brandon Kimball. Back to the near wing for Trico Simmons. Bouncing, trying to go through Danny Grant's legs. Instead, McNamara on the other side to pick it up and a tie up on the floor here between McNamara and Trico Simmons. They were laying on their side. Jump ball is the call. And the possession arrow in favor of MBSU right now, and they're going to get the ball here on the far sideline with 11 to shoot and 129 to go in the first half. Coming in for MBSU, Michael Green. He's going to be replaced, or he will replace Jordan Lyons, rather. MBSU here with the inbound, Trico Simmons in the middle of the floor. Quentin Olsen back for Simmons. Pass to the right wing. It bounced off a hand out of bounds to the far sideline. They say it went off Miami. Probably Dane Grant, who was with Michael Green as they were trying to get the pass to him. So 123 to go here in the first half. 41-32, Rex on top. Five to shoot for FBSU. They get the inbound and quickly Green. Top of the key. Will hit the brakes. Fling off a shot. No good. Too hard. It's tipped around and Coleman lands. Stolen away from him, though, by number 10, Quinton Alston, right in front of the Miami basket. And that will draw a foul here to Coleman Lands. MBSU picks it up as Alston came in to steal that ball. Lands not very tall, only 6-0. Well, that's kind of tall, but not on this court right now. Once in Alston, who stands at 6-5, came in a little bit too high to steal that ball away from Coleman Lands. Isaiah Coleman Lands right back to the free throw line here for Miami. With a buck 15 to go here in the first half. A one on one situation for Coleman Lands on the seventh MVSU foul, and he makes the first one. 42 32, the Red Hawks lead it. MVSU scoreless as a team in the last minute 36. Second one, good Coleman Lands. 43 32, Miami on top. 112 to go here in the first half. MVSU slowly over the timeline, middle of the floor. That's Michael Green. He's matched up with Maja White right now. Green pass to the left wing, picked up here Brandon Kimball, returns to Green right wing. Green inside the arc, dodges past Dede Grant, hits the brakes to the baseline, didn't have an angle to the floor, gets it back outside, Trico Simmons top the key, six to shoot. Pass to the right wing, long three, nothing but net, Michael Green will sink it. And Michael Green for MVSU will pick up three point basket number two on the day and he leads the Delta Devils with 12 points. 37 seconds to go first half. There's 20 to go on the shot clock, about a 14 second difference. Ija White top of the key, left wing three. Coleman lands, yes sir! He got it over Zachary Barnes who stands at 6-1, has an inch over him. And Barnes was standing pretty close, but a nice three point basket there by Coleman lands makes it a 46-35 Miami lead. 16 seconds to go first half, the shot clock is off, dribbling right wing. Back towards half court, Michael Green for MVSU as they try to set up a play. Eight seconds to go, trails down the right wing, inside the arc, fires off a jumper. That's good for Michael Green, who makes it a 46-37 game. Now less than a second to go, Danny Grant cops it up right wing of the Miami end, and that will reach halftime here at Blood Hall. 46-37, the Miami Redhawks leading the Missouri, or the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils, rather, here after 20 minutes at Blood Hall this afternoon. As a first half, which Miami started off pretty strong, they kind of let it up in the middle part of that first half, and then later part of it stepped back on the gas again to take a nine point lead back into halftime. Miami has a team four for five in their last five field goals. As MBSU kind of struggling there in the latter part of that first half. MBSU 15 for 35 from the field, that's 42.9%. Miami 17 for 35 for 48.6%. Four for 12 in the three point department is MBSU for 33.3%. Miami eight for 18 in three point land for 44.4%. Four for six from the field is Miami, three for eight from the field is MBSU. And the turnover department right now, only one turnover in that entire first half. MBSU had it 
They lead the turnovers one to nothing over Miami. Miami is 21 rebounds, MBSU 20. Eight rebounds offensively for MBSU. Six for the Red Hawks, 15 defensive rebounds. Miami 12 defensive rebounds. MBSU is Miami leading the bench points battle too. They have 23, MBSU has 10 here at the half from Millette Hall. Again, Miami leading it by a score of 46-37 after 20 minutes here from Millette Hall. As we'll take about a 13 and a half minute break or so before the second half begins and hope to stay with us here on Red Hawk Radio this afternoon. Again, Miami 46, MBSU 37 at the half. Back with second half action in 13 and a half minutes. This is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Gushu back with you here at Bled Hall after halftime. Miami leading it by a score of 46-37 over the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils who are 1-8 overall, 0-0 in the SWAC Conference. We'll take a look at your halftime stats now with Miami leading by nine after 20 minutes. As Mississippi Valley State shooting 15 for 35 for the field, that's 42.9%. Miami 17 for 35, that's 48.6%. Redox 8 for 18 for three point land, that's 44.4%. Mississippi Valley State 4 for 12, that's 33.3%. Mississippi Valley State 3 for 8 for the free throw line, just 37.5% from the charity stripe. Redhawks are only 4 for 6 too, that's 66.7%. As the Red Hawks here and Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils will square off in the final 20 minutes. Mississippi Valley State will be on the road at Wright State on Tuesday. That's a 7 p.m. start for the Nutter Center, so they'll stay in the area and take on the Raiders, an opponent the Red Hawks have already played twice this year. Then they will go to California play at Santa Clara University on Friday. That's a 10 p.m. Eastern time start. For Miami, it's Wednesday at Louisville, an 8.30 p.m. tip for the Red Hawks for the KFC Yum Center. Then they're back home for a pair of games. First, December 21st against Bradley. That's a 2 p.m. start. Then December 30th against Wilberforce, also a 2 p.m. start here at Blood Hall. Red Hawks with the inbound here to begin things in the second half. Patrick Eschen with you here. Quick pass inside. Bam, boom, and a little up and under with the left hand. Can't get it through the hoop though, and MBSU they tip back to the near corner, they get up the right wing of the floor. Caleb Hunter hits the brakes far side, long three missed, Delonte Brown will pick up here for the Red Hawks, but a pass up the wing for Larry was picked off, and a slam dunk here for Jordan Lyons. Tariko Simmons picked up the pass, got it to Jordan Lyons, who was also in the zone, and Lyons a pass back from Simmons, a two-handed champ wide open under the hoop. Now MVSU will pick up a turnover here as the Rocks trying to move it offensively. Up the right wing, it comes to Caleb Hunter. Far corner, a three. In and out from Michael Green. Getting it back and putting it through. Brandon Kimball, though, for two. 46 seconds into the second half, and the Miami Redhawks have already called a timeout. It'll be their second timeout of the game as MVSU has scored four points already here inside a minute into the second half. They now trail by just five to the Miami Redhawks by a score of 46 to 51. Redhawks use a timeout. It's also a media timeout here from Millette Hall. And we're back in a moment. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Back after the timeout here at Millette Hall, Patrick Eschen with you on Red Hawk Radio. 1914 is left in half number two, Miami 46, MBSU 41. Reps of the ball here up to left wing, Milos Jovic comes back, Tom DeKey, Larry, back to the near side, wide open three, it's good by Josh Brewer. Josh Brewer will give Miami a 49-41 advantage, their first points in the second half. A little over a minute into it. Left wing, Caleb Hunter for MBSU. Back top of the key, long three is too far left. An air ball there by Kimball, missed. And it goes out of bounds here. Brandon Kimball for MBSU with six points on the day. That was his first three point attempt. Inbound pass here for Mackie Larry. He is tied up, double team to Miami end, and a foul whistled here. And MBSU doesn't like to call it. Jerico Simmons will be called for the foul. He was with Michael Green trying to stop Larry. They did stop him inside the arc. Miami end of the floor with 18.38 to go here in the second and 30 on the shot clock. It's gonna be an inbound here on the near side for Miami on the first team foul, the half for MBSU. Jovic is back for Mecky Larry up the right side of the floor. It's Jovic near corner now Brewer. Returns to Jovic right wing outside the arc. Top of the key Larry, shovel to the far side. Maja White bounce pass in for Bowman. Near side, Brewer, long three attempt. It was in and out. Looked like he was going in there for a second. Rebound picked up Trico Simmons. Long toss ahead, Caleb Hunter pulls up for a right wing three. That missed short. Brewer tips the rebound out to half court. Picked up by White in midair. Trying to flail a pass forward. He's able to get it up to Brewer and goes for the dunk from the right side. But a foul there is charging in Jordan Lyons. Shake it up after the play. He came in to prevent that dunk from Josh Brewer. Very good defensive play on the effort there. Nice check back from Jordan Lyons. But it will be his second personal foul of the day. Josh Brewer will shoot two at the line for Miami. First trip to the line today for Josh Brewer. He will make the first one. 50-41 the score. Missed the second one. Rux just can't shooting well from the free throw line today. Neither can MBSU. Tariko Simmons over the timeline left side pulls up at the arc. Slow walk to the top of the key for Tariko Simmons, the 165-58 senior out of Wilkinson County, Georgia. Pass to the left wing in the paint. Jordan Lyons pulls up there. Trying to get a shot up to the left hand. Little hooker and Josh Brewer was there to knock down a bit air. Good defensive work by Miami. He's had a few mid-air blocks today. Jovic has had a couple too. Pass to the near corner. A jumper there, an air ball from Michael Green. Too hard over the hoop. Browns with a charge the other way. A two on one. Larry and Brewer. Brewer got the pass to the left wing and jammed it home with both hands. 52 41, Miami on top. Timeout, MBSU. What a play in transition by Miami. They were able to break up the play and they get a charge up the floor as a three on one. But the top of the Two players in that rush for Miami were Larry and Brewer. Larry had it on the right wing, a pass to Brewer left side, two-handed jam for him. With 17.31 to go into second, MBSU will use timeout number two of the game. They trail to Miami, 52-41, back in a moment on Red Hawk Radio. coming here on the near side for MBSU. They quickly get it in for Jordan Lyons. And now Chirico Simmons, top of the key here for the Delta Devils. Simmons dribbling with a left arm half court. Pass to the left wing, Jordan Lyons. Outside the arc here for MBSU. Now the right wing, Kimball. Back to the near side, long three. It is in and out from Caleb Hunter. Rebound picked up off the bounce by Brewer. Pass to the right wing for Larry. Cross timeline right side, Jovic inside Bowman off the glass and in, Bam Bowman will finish it off there for Miami and those are points five and six for him today. MBSU over the timeline left point, Caleb Hunter with the ball, right handed shovel pass to the far side, Jordan Lyons for MBSU, back top the key, Brandon Kimball. 
Walks to the far side. Caleb Hunter inside the arc with Larry. Got it back. Jordan Lyons spin around, move to the paint, cut across, and that's good. Lyons got off with his left hand, a little 360, got to the paint and fired it off. Rocks in transition the way. Jovic looking cross court to the left wing Bowman, but it was tipped away by MBSU. And out of bounds on the far side. Miami will get an inbound here from the far corner of the offensive end as they lead it by a score of 54-43. Jovic get bound past Bowman, top to key Larry. And a jab step move in, then back out for Brewer to the right wing. Larry, high point, top of the key, right side, three Jovic off the glass, no good. Two Redox crashing in for the rebound. And it's a foul here against the MBSU as Miami was trying to do that as both Bowman and Brewer were coming in from the free throw line to try to swoop in and grab it. After the three point attempt by Jovic. It's going to be an inbound here after the third team foul on MBSU. But stolen away on a pickoff attempt, pass to the far corner looking for Larry. Michael Green grabbed it for the Delta Devils. Hits the brakes in the center circle. Michael Green dribbling with the left arm, now to the right arm, trailing it to the right wing. At the sideline, cuts to the middle on a screen play there. Pass to the far side, Lyons fires off the three. That missed. Short for Lyons. Jovic the rebound across town line right wing for Miami. Inside the paint, drives the lane. He got tipped up in the air and into the hands of Kimball, who's in transition. Pass to the left wing and a two-handed jam by Jordan Lyons. Assisted by Kimball, 54-45. Your score, Miami on top, 15-39 to go. Larry across the timeline, hits Maja White, pulls away from the defense, and then back to Larry, who barks orders for a play, standing on the Emmett center. Pass to the near side for Maja White, walks it back up, Larry dish to the left wing, Jovic to the far corner, Bam Bowman, back up top the key, Larry wide open, three, it was too hard. Long rebound came out for Caleb Hunter over the timeline left wing. Hunter bounce pass, far side, tipped away, Red Hawks get it back, two on one, Larry and Brewer, Larry left wing, Left it for Brewer, finishes it off to glass it in for the right side with both hands. 15.06 to go in the second, 56-45, Miami on top. As over the timeline, right wing comes MBSU. Caleb Hunter with the ball. Pass the near side for Brandon Kimball. Back up top, Jordan Lyons. 12 to shoot here. Lions gave it off, Caleb Hunter down the right side for MBSU, tied up with Larry, a foul whistle there. And this is going to be on Mackie Larry. Never mind, I think it's on MBSU. No, we got immediate timeout, that's why everybody's walking back together under the floor. Yeah, Mackie Larry whistled for that foul there, that will be his second of the game, we get a media timeout here with 14.41 to go in a second. Miami 56, MBSU 45. Your score here in a second. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Escher back with you here after the media timeout at Millette Hall. 14.41 to go in the second. Miami leading the 
Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils by a score of 56-45. Mississippi Valley State, 19 for 47 from the field. It's 40.4%. They inbound this one to the far away and a quick jumper on a little pass there to Michael Green. The inbound came from Simmons. And MVSU now trails 56-47. Coleman Lance over the line for Dana Grant. Pass to the near side, Brewer. Back up top for Coleman Lance. Far wing, it's McNamara. Top of the key three from Grant to short. And we get a whistle here for a foul as going for the rebound there. McNamara fouling one of the MVSU players under the hoop. McNamara will pick up his first personal of the game. Two team fouls now for Miami in this half. MVSU over the line right wing. Rico Simmons for the Delta Devils. Pass to the far side, Michael Green. Dishes it to the right wing in the paint. Trying to get that one up, but it was blocked with Lions. Loose ball picked up there, also down low by Kimball, and his put back attempt was no good either. J.D. Grant over the timeline right side, charging toward the lane, pass cross court to the near wing for McNamara, but he lost control down low and it went out of bounds. So MBSU here will fire this one in from the near baseline, the defensive end of the floor, Trinko Simmons. Over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Delta Devils. Simmons here, pass near side, Michael Green. Working with Mijah White, Green, long right straight near side, missed. It's high up in the air, tipped away, and McNamara grabs it for Miami. D.J. Grant stops before the timeline. Pass to near side, Coleman Lance, near corner three, wide open White, missed it. Too far right, big rebound, Grant picks it up. A nice jump in to lay it through with the right hand. 13-15 to go in the second, 58-47, Red Hawks lead it. Caleb Hunter over the middle of the line here for MBSU. Making move toward the left wing, pass to the near corner, it's Kimball. Trying to make the charge to the paint and now a pass to the far side, this is Michael Green. Walks it down the right corner to the MBSU offensive end. Green, a spin around move, he's matched up with Brewer. Reaches the edge of the right paint. Try to pass it, it was tipped up in the air by Brewer. He got control. And we get a whistle here. And Miami's Josh Brewer is whistled for a foul. And that call is not very popular at all with the fans. So Michael Green will shoot two at the line here. 58-47, Miami on top. Green makes free throw. Michael Green, a 6'3", 190 senior guard out of Atlanta. 27 games last year off the bench for MBSU. He has started every game this year for the Delta Devils, including this one this afternoon. Second free throw, bounced and hung for a second, but it's no good. 58-48, Miami the 10 point lead. 12-42 to go in the second. To get it to the far wing, it's Maja White. He is double team now with Caleb Hunter and Michael Green. Now they get it down low. McNamara trying to charge it for a two-handed jam. And a big block there by Quinton Elston, a 6-5 guard to prevent that attempt. MBSU got a loose ball the other way. Caleb Hunter making a charge on the right side of the paint. He traveled. That's the first traveling call of the game. And a 12-26 to go in the second. Miami holding on to the 10-point lead. They'll bring Delonte Brown into the game for the first time in the second half. Brewer is out. And Josh Brewer getting an applause here from the Millennial crowd. As he exits the game with 10 points. Four for five from the field is Brewer today. Rocks with the ball, offensive end of the floor. Top to key, Grant. Shovel pass, far wing for Coleman Lands. Returns to Grant. Free throw line pass. Maja White with a floater on the right arm. Batted high out of the air by Brandon Kimball to the near baseline. That was taken out of the air immediately with 12 and 9 to go in the second. Miami inbound here near sideline of the floor. Brown top to key, Dede Grant, far side, log three, Coleman lands, missed it. It's up in the air and picked up by Brandon Kimball, who's up the right wing now, handoff for Simmons. Simmons across town line pass for Michael Green, stops far side of the arc. Green the bounce pass, gave it off for Caleb Hunter, who's up the far wing for MVSU. Hunter inside the arc, takes a step back, 14 to shoot. He's at the top of the key, dribbling between his left and right arm. Coleman lands the matchup with Caleb Hunter. 
Now seven to shoot. Hunter toward the left side. Back to the right. Still outside the arc. Reaches inside. Now past the outside. Korean long three. Far side. Missed with a shot clock expiring. Coleman Lance picks it up. Pass to the near side for Tate Day Grant. Another cross court floater. Coleman Lance picks it up. Near side. Myers White looking for a jumper. Back top of the key. Day Day Grant. Long three. No. It's picked up here by MBSU. Quinton Olsen pass to the right wing. Here's Kareen. Down the paint right side. Brown got a hand in there to knock it free and out of bounds, but it went off MBSU. Miami will get the ball back here with 11.13 to go in the second and immediate timeout. 58-48, the Red Hawks on top. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Eleven thirteen to go here in the second. Miami 58, NBSU 48. Here from Atlanta all this afternoon. Official attendance today, 981 fans. That's what they listed it as. Rocks with the inbound here offensively. Danny Grant over the timeline right wing. Shovel pass to the near corner. Delonte Brown headed up in the air. Pass to Jovic now right side of the paint. Takes it back outside the arc. And top of the key, a little shovel to Danny Grant. Far side, Brown. Thinking about it, cross-court pass. Here's Jovic from the right side. Bounce pass inside. It is McNamara high off the glass. No good. A put back off the rebound. It's good, though. McNamara got his own rebound there. 10-40 to go in the second. A 12-point Miami 60-48 lead. Far side, three. Missed there by Michael Green. It's picked up by Delonte Brown. And over the timeline, right wing comes Danny Grant. Grant hits the brakes, top of the key. Looks for an option here with 20 to shoot. Left wing Jovic, back for Day Day Grant. And over to Delonte Brown, returns to Grant and out near side, Milos Jovic. Grant top the key, down the wing, played it off a of body, that was Kimball. MVSU over the line, right side. As a three on two rush the other way, Trico Simmons handed it off for Quinton Alston, charging down the right wing. He got a layup up, but it was no good. Brock was went for a foul there, Coleman Lance picks up his first. And Quentin Olsen will shoot two here for MBSU. First one in and out for our number 10 in green, the 6'5", 205 freshman out of King Street, South Carolina. He's appeared in every game this year, started just twice. Coming in a 57.1% free throw shooter is Quentin Alston. And he is one for two at the line now after making the second one. He's got five points tonight. 10 and eight to go here in the second. 60-49, Miami leading it. Pass to the right wing, Brown. Left side, McNamara stopped again today for another two-handed jam there. 
is getting in the way of that one was Kimball and Jack Owens barking at the referees, moving up the floor. McNamara was stopped again, looking for a two-handed jam. Second time, that's happened today. MBSU right side, they will get it up and through. Michael Green made the charge down from inside the arc. You know, it's still barking at the referees as the play goes back the other way. Pass at the timeline, picked up by MBSU. Grant was going for Jovic, top the key. It's Tariko Simmons, takes it back with nine and a half to go in the second. Miami has a team just one for seven in their last seven field goals. Michael Green on the far side of the floor for MBSU in the paint. Right-handed hook shot is good. Michael Green has just made it a seven-point game. Rocks have to wake up again as they lead it 60 to 53. And we're only halfway through the second half. Side Brown is tripped up in front of the Miami bench after getting a pass from Dayday Grant. They call that foul. Michael Green will grab his third foul of the game for MVSU. As Maisha White will check back in for Miami, so will number two, Makai Larry. Dede Grant is out, Milos Jovic also out. And a far side inbound coming here for Isaiah Coleman Lance for the Red Hawks. Gets it top of the key, Makai Larry near side for Maisha White. Larry far side out, Coleman Lance bounce pass in as McNamara flings off a short jumper from 10 feet that missed. MBSU at the left wing here. They get it at the offensive end of the floor. Tariko Sim, it's a point guard quarterbacking this offense right now. Simmons to the far wing. Pass up top of the key for Brandon Kimball. Returns to Simmons far side. Kimball back with it. 8.40 to go now in the second. Top of the key, Simmons. Pass to the far side for Michael Green for MBSU. Makes the move inside the paint. Pass down low and getting a foul there. Drawing it was number 33, Brandon Kimball. Is he going to pass to the right side? But actually, it's an offensive foul against MBSU as Miami gets the inbound here. Not sure who they called there. Larry flings the pass to the right wing. Brown back for Larry. Now far side, Isaiah Coleman lands. Returns to Larry, top the key. Pass to the right side for Miami. Makai Larry got it back to the far wing. This is Coleman Lance. Regain control of the ball and a charge down the left wing. And we get a whistle here for a foul. Michael Green is called for his fourth on Mississippi Valley State. Number one in green. And Michael Green with his fourth personal foul is going to have to sit. As Rux here will have the ball. Brown, far side, long three, Coleman Lance missed. Off the rim, high in the air, MVSU back the other way. Hunter over the line, left wing, dribbled it behind his back, now to the near wing. We'll take a step back outside the arc with 20 to shoot here. 7.55 to go in the second. Down the wing, Hunter, under the hoop. Almost tipped away, pass to the far side, Simmons. Long three, missed short, and it's picked up under the hoop by Brandon Kimball. Red Hawks completely falling asleep defensively there. That ball hung there for about two good seconds. Miami did not even react to the rebound under their own hoop. Offensive end of the floor, far side three, Brown missed, short. And MVSU has put it themselves within five. They're on a 7-0 run here in the last three minutes, 10 seconds. Down the left side, off the glass, no good. A shot by Simmons, did that all by himself. Rebound picked up by Brown over the timeline, left wing. They're going to say something happened there. Backcourt violation. As Brown carried it over the timeline, left wing, he passed it back to Makai Larry, who was on the other side of the timeline, but only about two feet behind Delonte Brown. Referee right there to call the backcourt with 7.16 to go in the second. We have another media timeout. Red Hawks are falling apart. They are scoreless in the last three minutes and 27 seconds. They lead at 60 to 55. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Thank you. 
7.16 to go here in half number two for Millette Hall. Miami 60, Mississippi Valley State 55. And the Delta Devils here trying to snap an eight game losing streak on the road this season. Look at it coming to Oxford here and put up a little bit of an upset. They have the ball off its side of the floor. Top to key, it's Caleb Hunter with 12 to shoot. Left wing now on Maja White. Hunter just battling with him. Step back, look for a three opportunity pass. Left wing, Kimball. Wide open jam with the right hand through the lane. He didn't have any more room. He could have put up with two hands. Maddox defensively just breaking down right now. 60-57. Miami leads it. Far side, a corner three here by Maja White. Off his side of the backboard. Picked up by Bowman down low. Delonte Brown copped up the ball back outside the arc. Coleman Lance, near side, Bowman up and under. It's good for two. Bam Bowman from the right to the left arm. Put it off the glass and back in. 6.15 to go in the second. Miami retakes a five point lead, 62 57. MBSU ball, middle of the floor, Quentin Olsen. Past the far side, Hunter picked it up high. Back for Brandon Kimball. And now it's Alston. Down the right wing, in the paint. Brown got a hand in there. It'll be a foul on him. Jose Brown whistled for his second, the team's fifth. 5.59 to go in the second half. Quentin Olsen will shoot two free throws here for MBSU, who trail by five. First free throw too hard by Quentin Alston. You know, at the line today is one for two. He's two for three from the field and has five points. As a team, MVSU just shooting from the free throw line today, 38 and a half percent, just five for 13. Alston here will get his second off. Dribbles three times, fires it up, it's good. And a four point game, 62-58, Miami leads it. Up the floor for the Red Hawks comes Makai Larry. Pass to the far side, Coleman Lance, little give and go. Lands with the back again. Cross court pass to the near corner, caught and kept in by Delonte Brown. Back for Makai Larry, the three from the right wing, he got it. And a seven point lead, 65-58. Rico Simmons right wing, back top the key. Brandon Kimball waits for MVSU. Kimball back to the far side, squaring off with Makai Larry. Pass for Simmons. Simmons down the far baseline. Larry now matched up with him. Number two on number two. Simmons careful to dribble with the right arm down to four to shoot. Pass up top, long three. Richard Rivers Jr. too far left, an air ball. And a shot clock violation here against MVSU as they got the our own rebound, but the ball never hit the rim or anything on the three attempt by Rivers. And so Miami here will inbound it offensively with 5.13 to go in the second. Delonte Brown is out for Miami, Josh Brewer is in. As Coleman lands far side for the Red Hawks will pass the middle of the floor, a little give and go there with Mekhi Larry. Larry gets it back top the key, pass the near wing, Josh Brewer back for Larry, now far side is Coleman Lance. Larry near wing, inside the paint, Brewer dish out, far corner three, missed by Makai Larry, offensive rebound, though Rex keep it in, and it is good, as Bam Bowman got a pass from the outside, he was standing left edge of the paint, right for the Miami offensive basket, laid it in with a left hand off the glass, good for two, 67-58, Miami on top. Richard Rivers Jr. cross court pass. Caleb Hunter near wing outside the arc for MBSU. Walks it top the key to the right side. And now with the dribble on the left hand here, trying to move down the left wing. We got a foul whistled on Miami. It's going to be against number 11, Maja White. The foul's on Miami's Maja White. That's his first. Two foul number six. Maja White will pick up his first. It's team foul number six on Miami in this half. And MVSU here will play it in from the far sideline, Caleb Hunter. 4.22 to go in the second. Hunter pulls up long three, top of the arc, missed. Rebound picked up right side and put back up for two by Quinton Alston. 
4.12 to go in the second. 67-60, Miami in the seven point lead. Roman Lancelock toss ahead, right side of White, finds Brewer, charged down the lane, off the glass, no good. Tipped up in the air though by Bea Bowman, who's under the hoop, and it's good for two. And Roxbury take the nine point lead, 69 to 60. MVSU back up the floor, right wing. Over the line comes Caleb Hunter. Dribbling here with the right arm. Hunter down the far baseline for MVSU, just pulls up, little floater pass. To the far side, Richards Rivers using a 6'11 reach to charge in, knocks Bowman over, offensive foul. And head coach Lindsey Hunter of MVSU just throws his arms up in the air and walks around as Bam Bowman knocked over on his back by the 6'11, 280 freshman forward Richards Rivers Jr. It is foul number six on MVSU here of the second half. 3.38 to go in the final period. Miami 69, MVSU 60. Back in a moment, it's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. to go here in the second. It's a 69-60 lead for the Miami Red Hawks over the Mississippi Valley State University Delta Devils. Roger gets you back with the MLL Hall. Glad you're with us this afternoon on Red Hawk Radio. As Miami with the inbound here, Maisha White will give off for Makai Larry as we approach three and a half minutes to go here in the second. Pass to your side, Brewer over the timeline, right wing. He had two men on him immediately, and a foul whistled here on number 10, Quentin Alston of MBSU. This Brewer was trying to go there over the right wing. So Josh Brewer, a tripped in line for one and one free throws here for Miami. He is one for two in the free throw department today. Makes that one. Brewer up to 11 points on the day. MBSU 17 fouls now, so one and one free throws coming for every foul they commit. Brewer makes the second. 76, he rocks a 10 point lead. Tariko Simmons hits the brakes. Center of the court for MBSU. Pass to the left wing, Michael Green. Back down to the near corner, he's working there with Brewer, Green. Got it to the middle and a little fling there with the right arm missed. It's back from a Kyle Larry far side for the Red Hawks over the timeline, middle of the floor. Pass to the near wing. A long three there. Maja White missed it. It's tipped in the air by Bowman on the rebound. He got it back. And it's going to be an and one for Bam Bowman as he draws a blocking foul going down was Brandon Kimball. Bam Bowman, hard work under the hoop. The only senior on the team doing the job. As he got the ball under the hoop, picking up the rebound, able to work free, draw the blocking foul, get it up off the left hand, and off the glass and in. 2.59 to go in the second, 73-60 Red Hawks. Now the 13-point advantage. 
Bowman at the line in an attempt to complete a three-point play. He will make it. Caleb Hunter comes back in for MBSU. He has four, oh, never mind. Caleb Hunter just has two personal fouls of the game. Four personal fouls for Michael Green for MBSU. Draco Simmons, point guard over the middle of the floor. 250 left in a second. 14 point advantage for the Red Hawks. Far side, long three missed by Michael Green. Red Hawks tip free the rebound and charge it back up the floor. Makai Larry over the timeline right away. Dish to the far side. Bowman tipped it. And then it went out of bounds at an MBSU player. And the Red Hawks are going to get it back with 24 to shoot. Kai Larry will inbound a near side baseline, finds Bam Bowman, back for Larry near corner. Behind the back pass, Bowman long three, right away, got it! 18 points of the day for Bam Bowman, leads the Miami Red Hawks, he's two for three for three point land. Timeout MBSU, they will use their second to last of the game after that offensive possession. Bam Bowman absolutely lighting it up today for Miami offensively. And the 6 8 273 senior forward out of Bowling Green, Kentucky, surpasses his season high in points this afternoon. The previous one was 12 against Wright State. He now has 15 on the day for, or 18 rather, on the day for the Red Hawks. The lead MBSU by a score of 77 to 60. We'll get a timeout here. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Coming here on the near wing for MBSU. They're going to give it off to number one, Michael Green. Bounce was one into Tariko Simmons here. Center of the floor for the Delta Devils. Dribbling left arm to right arm. Now a pass to the far side, Michael Green. Hits the brakes, back down to the far side of the floor. Get up top of the key, a pass to the near wing. Tipped up in the air by Makai Larry. They were trying to go there to the near side for Caleb Hunter off the hands of Simmons who is standing top the key. 2.05 to go here in the second half. And there's seven to shoot here for MBSU gets the inbound. Simmons over the timeline. I don't think he knows how much time is left. He's just holding the ball. And the shot clock just ran out with a bench hold him. Huh. Rico Simmons is just dribbling the ball to his right arm, middle of the floor. He had four to shoot and then the bench told him to shoot with one on the shot clock. And then he got it off, but it was too late. Ty Larry here over the middle of the floor for Miami. Pass to the far wing. Coleman lands back for Larry. Top of the key. Little floater in for Brewer. In the paint. Charging down the right edge of the paint. Fired it off. The rim no good. And Bam Bowman picks it up again and finishes it off. He just wants a higher season point total. Bam Bowman, another good one. 79-60. Miami leads at 135 to go in the second half. Simmons pass to the far side. Here's Brandon Kimball. Fires it up and good from the back logo in the paint. 125 to go in the second. Over the line, Larry. To the near corner. Bowman, another three. Nope, it's too hard. That would have been nice if it went in. Rocks an offensive rebound, though. They tip it back outside. Coleman Lance. Far side, it's Makai Larry. We'll walk it up here to the half court line. Back for Coleman Lance, far side of the floor. Larry near side out. Charge down the right wing. Coleman Lance, far side to the floor. He will get inside the arc, fired up, no good. Rebound picked up off the bounce by Michael Green. Pass to the right wing, Chirico Simmons. Cross court feed, nearby, it's a three by Hunter. Near side of the floor, it's good. Caleb Hunter makes it a 79-65 game with 50 seconds left here in the second half. They float one to the near side, might be offensive end. Long cross court pass, Brewer to Coleman Lance. Floater up for Larry, back to the near side, Brewer. Long three, missed. Van Bowman working hard to get the offensive rebound. Gets it back for Coleman Lands. Brewer working under the hoop. Far side, Bowman. Floater top of the key. He will hit Mijah White with 10 to shoot. 25 to go in the game. White a handoff here to Makai Larry. Back for White. Returns to Larry. It's a pull up three here, but it's no good. 
As MVSU picks up the rebound under the hoop, that was Brandon Kimball over the timeline, past the near side, two-handed jam there by Lions with 8.4 seconds left, 79-67. Redhawks with the inbound here. Coleman Lance will wait. Three, two, and one seconds to go, and that's gonna do it. Miami 79, Mississippi Valley State 67. The Redhawks picking up the win to improve to 500 on the year. They're five and five overall, three and two on Millette Hall. Mississippi Valley State are now 0-9 on the road. They fall to 1-9 overall as they will now play at Wright State on Tuesday at 7 o'clock at Nutter Center. Redhawks next game Wednesday at Louisville from the KFC Young Center. Next start will be 8.30 Eastern time for Miami as they will get ready for that one against the nation's current number one team. Redhawks will walk off the floor here. You gotta be happy with this win this afternoon, but there were some times when Miami completely broke down defensively in this game, and that has been kind of the major issue, the major problem of the year, this year for the Miami Redhawks, just defensively on their end of the floor, they can break down and give up some pretty big runs. Mississippi Valley State at one point had a 9-0 run in the second half, but the Redhawks were able to control it and all that, and able to pick up the win 79-67 over MVSU this afternoon. So for the rest of our run up radio crew, this is Patrick Geshin saying so long and thank you so much for listening to us this afternoon here on Red Hawk Radio. Again, Miami 79, MBSU 67, your final. This has been a presentation of Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. We thank you so much for listening and please have a great afternoon.